age, a 29-year-old office worker. I work at a large advertising agency, and despite being young, I get assigned many big projects, so I have a very fulfilling work life. The presentation day for a big project is coming up, and the three of us work very hard together as a group to make the business talk successful! As the presentation day approaches, I'm feeling so nervous and having trouble sleeping. Sometimes, I couldn't even swallow my food. What should I do? Will I do fine? Sean, what are you saying? It's not like you're the leader of this project. We just have to support Paige, our leader behind the scenes. Gosh, you're one of our team members, so you have to be more reliable. You're right, uh, but I'm still nervous. Sorry, guys. You're both busy with your usual workloads already, but now you have to worry about this project, too. Are you feeling okay? Yes, uh, actually, it's not your fault, Paige. It's just that I get worried easily. As you can see, I'm doing completely fine. <laughs> Nonsense. He was just saying that he's so nervous. Hey, Taylor! I thought you promised you wouldn't say that in front of Paige. I'm telling you so many times already, but the only thing we should do is support Paige! I get it. All right. By the way, are you okay, Paige? The dark circle's under your eyes. You look horrible. Yeah, I'm fine. I also had trouble sleeping recently. But the big day is right around the corner, so let's all work hard together! Yes! We'll support you as much as we can. But it's you who's going to present on the day, though. My project members, Sean and Taylor, are both very reliable juniors. I have to meet the expectations of my juniors who are working hard burning the midnight oil. I will definitely make this project a success for my company and for my juniors. I made up my mind and worked until very late to prepare the documents and slides. And on the day of my presentation, I was on my way to the place where Sean and Taylor were watching. Oh gosh, it's so hot today. I didn't expect it to be this hot. I should have worn a t-shirt. I really sweat a lot. I made a mistake choosing my clothes today. Under the blazing sun, I was quickly walking to the meeting point as I mumbled to myself. Then I found a pregnant woman resting at the side of the road. Uh, wait a minute, are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I feel a bit dizzy. I thought I would feel better if I take some rest. L let's move into the shadows. I assume you're pregnant? If you stay under the hot sun, your baby will feel sick too. Uh, here, come this way. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you. But something feels off. She said that she was just resting. But why are her clothes so worn out? And her arms and legs are covered in scars. I pulled the pregnant woman by her hand and moved into the cool shadows. I bought her a drink from the vending machine and made her take a sip. After I asked what happened, she told me that she was resting under the hot sun for more than an hour. I told her that we should call an ambulance so that she can get a checkup at the hospital. No! We can't call any ambulance! It's not an urgent! But you're covered in scars, and what if something happened to the baby? But, but I don't want to use an ambulance! She refused to call the ambulance no matter what. She wouldn't listen to what I say. When I checked the clock, it was already way over the time I agreed to meet my juniors. But I couldn't just leave her here. Of course, I was worried about my presentation, but I've already handed the documents and slides to Taylor. So in the worst case scenario, she can present instead, and it was impossible for me to leave this person and head to my presentation. She has a new life in her belly! There was no way I can leave her looking so sick, so I suggested something else. If you don't want to call the ambulance, let's take the taxi to the hospital. Huh? I'll accompany you. How's that? B but are you sure? I, I thought you had to go to work. It's fine, and it's not the time to worry about things like that. And there's no way I can leave you here. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm sorry. I'll return the favor someday. Like this, I was able to persuade her, so we quickly got into the taxi and arrived at the hospital. Luckily, the general hospital we went to had the obstetrics department, so she was able to get her checked. Both the mother and the baby are safe, but if you came in a bit later, the worst might have happened. 
That was what the doctor said, but both of us cried in happiness after being reassured that the baby was safe. But thank you so the much! The mother owns the baby I really don't know how to return the but favor! But you came in a bit later! No, you don't have to worry about it! Happened. By the way, we got to meet each other like this, so could you please tell me your name if you like? I'm Paige and I'm 29 years old. I work at an advertising agency. Hello, Paige. What a nice name. I'm Sally Klein. Mrs. Klein! I hope you give birth to a healthy baby! Yes, thank you! Now that I know that both the mother and baby are safe, I should give them a call to see how the meeting and presentation went. The moment I saw the screen of my phone, I was so surprised. I froze in the spot with my eyes wide open, because I had received so many phone calls from Sean and Taylor. Whoa, there are over 50 missed calls. I bet all of them are mad. I'll have to apologize to them until they forgive me. I hurriedly called Taylor's phone. Hello, is this you, Paige? What's going on? How come you missed the important day? Boss is furious! I'm sorry! On my way to the meeting point, I found a pregnant lady on the ground, so I accompanied her to the hospital! Huh? R really? Yeah, I knew I should have called you, but it was an emergency. And how is she? Is she okay? Yes, she just got herself checked, and both the mother and the baby are healthy. Oh, that's a relief. Sean gave the presentation instead, and I think it went fine. But the CEO is really mad at you, Paige. Huh? Gosh, the CEO? He's so furious. Oh, actually, he's close by right now and wants to talk to you, so I'm handing my phone over to him. This is a nightmare! Why does the CEO have to be the one who's mad? <sighs> Mr. Owens, actually, he seems to view me as his enemy or something, and I bet he would never forgive me about today. I knew it before I even talked to him but it's true that I missed the presentation. So no matter how much he yells at me, I have to prepare myself to endure it. Well, whatever the reason, there's no way he's gonna listen to what I say in the first place. Hello? How dare you miss such an important meeting? I'm very sorry. I couldn't leave the pregnant woman who was sick on the road. Huh? So what? You don't even know her. Huh? But... Nonsense! I didn't borrow her phone just to listen to your lame excuses. Y yes, sir. Of course. I, I know that, but... Gosh, do you know how important the presentation is? And how much profit it would bring to the company? Of course I do! I was the one who prepared the documents and slides! I'm not asking you about that! Did you really have to save that woman instead of coming to the important meeting and giving your important presentation? Um, but she was pregnant and injured. Will helping her bring profit to the company? Uh, but helping others is not about profit. I've had enough of your excuses! You wasted your time! Why did you decide to help a stranger? If there's a logical reason, I might hear you out. A reason? I mean, I couldn't just leave her alone. I'm very sorry about what happened today. I'll write a letter of apology or whatever you want me to do. I've had enough! I didn't know you were such a sloppy employee. No, I never took my work lightly. Shut up! You don't have to come to work at our company anymore! Huh? Wait... But... I'll allow you to come tomorrow. You can at least come to get your stuff. After that, I'll get rid of your desk, so there'll be no place for you here. Be prepared! Huh? What do you mean, I don't have to come to work? Wait a minute, sir! He one-sidedly told me that I didn't have to come to work anymore. Mrs. Klein, who was listening to my phone call nearby, must have felt responsible about it. She's staring at the floor, looking upset. But I didn't want Mrs. Klein to feel sad anymore, after the doctor reassured us about how both her and the baby were healthy. So I forced myself a smile and said, Haha, <laughs> well, life's a long journey, so many things are bound to happen. I'll just have to move on. P Paige! I'm just glad that both you and the baby are safe. I will never regret helping you, Mrs. Klein. I'll go get my stuff at the office tomorrow, and after that, I'll take some time to rest at home for a while. It's fine, I'll just look for another job. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Klein, can I go and meet you at the hospital to see your baby after you give birth? Oh, yes, I don't mind. You said you worked at an advertising agency and your CEO's name is Mr. Owens? Are you working for the advertising agency in the building located in front of the station? Yes, I'm surprised that you know about it. 
well, the company doesn't want me anymore, so I'm technically not working for them now. So I'll just have to go there tomorrow to get my stuff. Gosh, what a horrible company. I can't accept this. Huh? Did Mrs. Klein say something just now? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm really sorry about what happened. It's my fault. Oh, it's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's what I said, but... Uh, I'm actually pretty hurt in the inside, yes. I've been working so hard for the company for the past few years. So honestly, I never thought I'd be fired so easily. But it's true that I made my juniors give the important presentation instead of me. So I do have to get punished this way or another. I ended up like this. But I knew that I had to accept myself being fired as a punishment. But things took an unexpected direction after this. The next day, I woke up early as usual and headed to my company. Yeah, I'm going there just to pack all my stuff and leave. It's funny how I'm suddenly missing the roads I walked to get to the company for the past few years. And I arrived at my company. Then at that moment, an expensive looking car stopped in front of me. A man who looked like a butler came out and opened the back door. Then a woman wearing an expensive looking outfit emerged from the car. The butler even had an umbrella open to guard her from the sunlight. Paige! Oh, I got here in time. I'm glad I got to meet you here. Huh? Are you Mrs. Klein? With a surprised expression, I can only look at Mrs. Klein with my mouth wide open. Because she looked really different from how worn out she looked yesterday. I'm sorry if I surprised you. I bet you're very surprised. Y yeah, I'm surprised. What's going on? I gave it some thought yesterday and decided to get a divorce with my husband. What? Uh, that's very sudden and surprising news. Actually, I've been having a lot of problems with my husband and I was fed up with him. And thanks to you, I made up my mind. M me Uh, did I do something wrong yesterday? No! I gotta make my decision thanks to you. So it's my turn to return the favor to you, Paige. Return the favor? Oh, don't tell me you bought an expensive roll of cloth or something. <laughs> you have a sense of humor, Paige. It's way bigger. Let's destroy this company. Huh? What? 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 Wait a minute. I don't think I heard you properly. Well, you'll find out soon. Can you follow me? Y yes I had no idea what was going on, but I followed Mrs. Klein. Before I packed up my things, we headed to the CEO's room. I'm coming in, Mr. Owens. It's been a while. Huh? What? You're, you're Mr. Klein's beloved daughter. <laughs> hello, ma'am. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it turns out that Mrs. Klein had so much power. Yes, it's been long. Uh, your father has been taking great care of us. Oh, forget about the flattering. My father knows that I'm here to talk to you, and he already agreed in advance about what I'm about to tell you. Uh, why are you visiting me today in the first place? Wait, huh? You! Why are you with Mrs. Klein? Oh, uh, I have no idea too. I I'm sorry? Oh, she's my savior and my friend. Right, Paige? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, we became friends yesterday. What? Well, I don't have much time to waste, so I'll get straight to the point. Why did you fire Paige without listening to her story? She helped me yesterday when I was on the ground feeling sick and she took me to the hospital. Huh? Does that mean the woman you saved yesterday was Mrs. Klein? Oh, yes, that's what happened. Then you could have just told me that. If the person you helped was Mrs. Klein, you have to be clear about it. Wait a minute, sir. It's not like I helped her because she was Mrs. Klein. I couldn't just leave someone who was in need of help. As expected from you, Paige. I love how responsible you are. Right, Mr. Owens? Y yes ma'am! You had a presentation meeting with my company yesterday, correct? Yes, that's right. We were having a meeting with Mr. Klein from Panicor Agent. The presentation was a big success, and the CEO promised us a long-term contract. Mr. Owens told us that the presentation was a big success and that the CEO agreed on the long-term contract. Looking very proud and happy of himself. But Mrs. Klein smirked when he saw his expression. Oh, about that. We actually took that back. Huh? No way. 
May I ask why? Huh? I think it's obvious. You ignored Paige was the leader of this project and pretended like it was you who achieved it. Who can ever trust someone like you? You didn't listen to her story about her wonderful doing of helping someone in need. And how come you fire such a talented employee? No, I, uh... You're acting so differently once you got to know it was me who she helped. You think this is a joke? I hate how stingy you are. No, uh, but... but I... By the way, we're planning to scout Pete's to join our company in the future. She's a very talented employee, and she even offers anyone a hand no matter when they're in need. We can't help but to scout her who has the ability to take immediate action. Huh? I'm getting a new job at Panicota Agent Klein? But only if you take the job, Paige. Uh, of course I'd love to, but, but, but are you sure about this? Yes, of course. I checked all the documents and slides you prepared for the presentation, but it was magnificent. A perfect piece. It's such a waste to have someone so talented like you to work here. The executives of my company are all glad to have you. D thank you so much. Mr. Owens, you'll have to go through a lot in the future. You better be prepared. No, uh, but... We'll get going then. Let's go, Paige. Uh, yes, goodbye. After that, we left the CEO's room. And I could hear Mr. Owens weeping in the room. But I guess this is the beginning for his fall in life, which is the result of his own actions. Shortly after that, as soon as I quit the company, I was offered a new job, and it was unexpected good luck. I had no time to rest, and I started working at Panicore Agent Klein. But after I started working, I realized that the company had a great proper structure. None of the employees had to work late or come to work on the weekends, and there was no one who was sleep deprived with dark circles under their eyes. It was such a good environment, and I was getting paid more than twice the amount of what I used to get. I can't be thankful enough. And after a while, I heard a rumor about the company that I used to work for going bankrupt. The CEO, Mr. Owens, is in a lot of debt, and his family even cut relations with him, so he's drowning in debt right now. Before the company went bankrupt, my juniors also quickly quit their job, and they're working now at another advertising agency, so that's a relief. And Mrs. Klein, who saved me from my crisis, gave birth to a healthy baby! Wow, he's adorable! Congratulations on your safe birth! He's a boy! I didn't know babies were this small! Oh, he's so cute! Paige, you're here! Thanks for coming! When I saw him sleeping, it reminded me of the day you risked your job and offered me a hand. When I imagine the worst case scenario that might have happened, it gives me shivers! Paige, thank you so much. No, please don't worry about it! I just did what I had to do. <laughs> I really love your personality. By the way, how's your job going? Is everything going well? Yes! Thanks to you, I've been able to work in a better environment than the company I used to work for, and I'm full of gratitude every day. I see. I'm glad to hear that. I'll continue to do my best, and when the baby learns how to walk, I'll teach him how to play soccer. Oh, I was planning to teach him soccer as well. Paige, do you play soccer? Yes! I was part of the soccer club from middle and high school as well as college. I'm excited for his growth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for